tears and anger as the family of 27-year-old Leonardo Anco laid him to rest. I'll see you soon, little brother. I know that we are all going to die. May there be justice. Leonardo is one of more than 20 protesters killed in clashes with security forces. At least four of the victims were children. Prosecutors say it is likely that most of the demonstrators were killed by gunfire. In the region of Ayacucho, the army claims protesters attacked them with blunt objects. After weeks of protests, the government declared a nationwide state of emergency, allowing the army to support the police. A mistake, critics say. Opening the door to the military increased the number of deaths and detentions. Everything doubled, which shows once again the danger of using the military to control internal order. Human rights groups say most of the deaths of the demonstrators were caused by an excessive use of force by police and the military, violating human rights standards. The Inter-American Commission for Human Rights in Peru is investigating alleged violations. In Andahuaylas, one of the first cities where protesters demanded new general elections, hundreds of civilians and police officers were injured in the clashes. Officer Luis Roli says protesters attacked his unit with a grenade, injuring 15 SWAT team members. The crowd threw an object. My partner shouted, grenade. I tried to see where, but it exploded and we all fell on the ground. Another officer, Luis Camacho, said the aftermath from the force of the explosion left him numb. That's when he says a mob went after him. They kicked and hit me with rocks. I tried to cover my head and face with my helmet until they took it off and hit me. As hundreds of people mourn the deaths of their loved ones, President Dina Boluarte has called for an investigation. But many Peruvians are furious, saying she is responsible for this deadly political and social crisis. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.